This is uh, the first part of a series of movies dedicated to simulating a CPU. So first, let's try to understand a bit what is a CPU. Uh, I will not go into a lot of details since uh, if we are going to uh, look at each individual CPU architecture, it will take very long time. But uh, from an overall point of view, a CPU is uh, a piece of hardware that executes uh, instructions. Uh, it is connected uh, externally to a, a bus uh, which uh, allows it to retrieve uh, instructions, to access data, to access peripheral devices. It receives a clock signal and uh, as I said it uh, reads instruction uh, executes that instruction then reads another instruction and executes it and so on. Uh, this is a schematic of uh, a Z80 CPU uh, as you can see in this uh, connection diagram uh, it has a number of uh, address lines at this moment it's not important how many address lines but there are address lines uh, there are uh, data lines uh, noted with d uh, both the address lines and data lines uh, allow uh, transfer uh, to and from uh, the memory but also uh, to and from uh, peripheral uh, devices there is a clock signal and uh, there are uh, specific control signals uh, that allows uh, selecting uh, either the memory or the I.O. devices. Uh, in this diagram they are noted with uh, M request from memory request or I.O. RQ, uh, I.O. request. And uh, it allows specifying if the CPU wants to read or write. Uh, from the specific bus. And there are other control signals like uh, interrupt, uh, non-maskable interrupt, halt, and so on. Uh, but the important thing is that uh, the CPU uh, is connected to one or more uh, data buses uh, by means of uh, address lines, uh, data lines, bus selection information, uh, operation selection, and there are other uh, control signals. <coughs> uh, now if uh, uh, someone is interested in a specific uh, CPU, where to get uh, specific information? Well, the first uh, place to look at is uh, a CPU data sheet. Uh, you can see here examples of uh, data sheets. These are uh, PDF documents containing multiple pages where uh, you can see uh, the exact uh, internal uh, diagram of the CPU, the uh, internal uh, functional components, the pinout, uh, the commands, and so on. Uh, there are different uh, types of uh, connections. Uh, for example, uh, this is an uh, 8080 CPU. As I said in the beginning, I will not go into too much details, but uh, just to have an idea how uh, different architectures uh, differ in terms of uh, external pinouts. Uh, in this case, for the 8080 CPU, uh, there is no explicit uh, signal uh, for uh, selecting between memory and uh, I.O. So, you can see there are uh, addresses, uh, there are data pins, there are other control signals, uh, there is uh, even a differentiation between uh, write and uh, read signals, but there is no explicit selection of uh, 
memory or uh, peripheral device. Yet the CPU does support IO instructions. So what's happening here? Well, uh, the first place to look at is the data sheet. And at some point in the data sheet, uh, you will notice uh, this uh, connection diagram. So uh, what it says is that uh, during the execution cycle, the CPU uh, outputs status information on the, da on the data pins. So the data pins are not used only for uh, transferring uh, actual data, but uh, they are used also for uh, status information. So in this case, additional uh, circuitry uh, is needed to transform the status information into useful signals. And uh, this diagram taken uh, from the data sheet uh, shows this uh, circuit uh, 8212 uh, which uh, allows uh, storing the status information and creating uh, the additional signals which allows for memory and IO selection. So uh, in this case, uh, this uh, becomes in a way uh, equivalent to this uh, pinout. Uh, from uh, the perspective of a simulation, uh, as I mentioned in uh, other videos, we are not necessarily interested in simulating uh, each uh, individual integrated circuit. Instead, we are interested in uh, simulating the functionality uh, of uh, the device. So in this case, for uh, simulation purposes, uh, we consider this entire uh, diagram as uh, the simulated uh, CPU. Uh, now there is uh, another example of uh, 286 uh, CPU has uh, different uh, pin format. Uh, however, uh, when looking at this pinout, uh, you will notice that it actually has a differentiation between memory and I/O. So in this case, uh, no additional uh, circuits are needed. Uh, specifically for this purpose. And of course the examples uh, may continue, but uh, from the point of view of uh, simulation uh, we need to consider this uh, generic uh, CPU device. <coughs> uh, this is the one that needs to be simulated and this is uh, the one that uh, we'll see how it can be simulated in Java in the next part of this uh, mini-series dedicated to CPU simulation. So basically uh, we need to have an interface with a memory bus, an interface with an IO bus, and uh, we already saw how a bus can be simulated. Uh, each of these buses uh, implement uh, operations for read and write, uh, specifying the address and the data that uh, needs to be written or returns uh, data as a result of a read operation. Uh, then we need to have a control bus with uh, different signals. Uh, we don't know beforehand what uh, these signals are. Uh, we will know uh, the signal types only if we look at a specific uh, CPU that uh, will be simulated. And uh, there is this uh, clock signal that in our case uh, is uh, actually considered uh, an external trigger uh, that will allow the simulation to execute a step. So it's not uh, necessarily a clock in the sense of uh, quartz device that uh, produce signals at uh, certain periodicity, uh, but instead it's uh, uh, more or less uh, a call to a function that uh, allow uh, the CPU to execute uh, one cycle. Uh, this means reading instruction, uh, executing it and uh, sending, if needed, uh, information outside uh, 
memory or uh, peripheral device. Uh, and also, of course, setting uh, control bus signals uh, if uh, needed. Okay, uh, that's, uh, I think, uh, all regarding uh, this uh, generic CPU simulation. And in the next video, uh, we're going to see how uh, this can be implemented in Java, uh, in the Java uh, System Simulator project. So, see you next time.